New York, AFP, Warner Music Group, one of the globe's big three recording companies, is set to proceed with its initial public offering valuing the company up to $13.3 billion. Evidence of streaming's boon to the once beleaguered recording industry, the closely watched listing could come as soon as Wednesday, according to U.S. media reports. The debut planned on the Nasdaq comes less than a decade after Warner was purchased for $3.3 billion in 2011 by Access Industries, a group of investors headed by billionaire Lynn Blavitnik. Warner Music, home of Carti B and Ed Sheeran as well as lucrative back catalogs from the likes of Madonna, hopes to sell 70 million shares at between $23 and $26 apiece which would value the company at $11.7 billion to $13.3 billion. Access will maintain its majority stake and collect proceeds from the sale. Warner had initially announced IPO plans in February before postponing them over the coronavirus pandemic, still considered a risk factor to the company's business. The infections spread out the music industry a major blow especially to live performances, with a Goldman Sachs report projecting a 25% drop in global revenue though forecasting a brighter outlook for 2021. The impending deal also coincides with Tuesday's music industry solidarity work stoppage protest over the anti-racism protests gripping the United States. According to a New York Times report, Warner executives have told employees to participate in the blackout day, but the IPO will go on. Warner owns and operates some of the globe's most successful labels, including Atlantic Records, Elektra Records, Warner Records, and Parlophone. It also owns the globe's major music publisher Warner Chapel Music. Atlantic brings Soul Dash. In 1929 the film mogul Jack Warner a notoriously hard-edged executive who inspired fear in his employees but gained the reputation for shrewd instinct as head of Warner Brothers Studios, founded the music publisher's holding company to provide cheap access to music for his films.